you guys, Rob here again with Final Boss Gamers. At la and so far we've done the background music, the lives, and the score. Now we're going to move on to the win and loss condition. Because these are vital for any video game. Okay, first thing we're going to want to do here is grab a couple actors and create those. Hmm. Having a little trouble dragging and dropping. No problem, we'll just create a new actor. I'll call this one win image. Create. Uh, add an animation. Still can't drag and drop, no problem. Okay, choose image. And just grab the image that we need. Winner. Add that to the animation track. And we'll go ahead and grab another actor here. Call this one lose image. Alright, create. Add an animation here. Uh, make sure we got the right file here. Do a preview. Yep, that's the one. Add. Okay, no problem. Alright, go ahead and grab the final image. Oh, oh, we're not doing a reset button just yet. That's something to look forward to, I guess. <laughs> Alright, and let's get cracking. Okay, first thing we need to do is add a win screen. And we're just going to grab our win actor and put him on the screen. Boom, good to go. Save that. Alright. And we will grab our lose actor, or lose screen, excuse me, start that, uh, grab the lose actor, put him on the screen, bada boom, save, okay, go on to game center, now we're actually going to start implementing uh, these conditions, these are going to be scene behaviors, um, I guess we'll just put these under the other category, because none of these other ones really seem to fit, so we'll go ahead and click on other and create the win condition. Alright. Go in here and we're going to use some flow. Grab an if, condi if condition. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to need to compare. Put these in here. And basically, we'll just set an arbitrary number here. We're going to say if the score is greater than 10, I guess. Make it short so that uh, we can hit that pretty quick. And actually we're going to need to add some more flow to this. We're going to need another if condition so that we can check to see if the scene is transitioning first because we've got some other effects here that will transition the scene. So what we'll need here is a not condition to see if the scene is not transitioning. And then we'll let it transition if it's not transitioning. And I like to move out of the way. I guess it's a little OCD, but that's just me. All right, grab the scene transitioning. And then we'll add the fade out, fade in here. Usually just set it to one second. And we'll need to choose the scene. We're going to choose the wind scene. Fade in, one second. All right. And we'll need to attach this to the scene, of course, as usual. Save that. And now we can check it out. Okay. Score. We gotta get the score to 10 to win this game, so it's pretty simple. Okay, 10, and moves on. Boom, win screen. Excellent. Now let's get to work on the lose condition. So we'll need to create another scene behavior, call it lose condition. Also leaving it in the other category. And for this one, what we can actually do is uh, copy this flow, because it's going to be very similar to what we need. And instead of duplicate, we'll go up here to copy and just paste it right there and then we'll just change a few things out uh, we'll grab the score out we we'll actually need to go and grab that whole block because the lives is going to be just a little bit different so we'll need a different comparison so if the lives is let's see probably less than or equal to is what we're going to need so compare not less than let's get less than or equal to okay and go to uh... yeah move that out of the way <laughs> Game attributes, go to lives, less than or equal to zero. Once you get to zero lives, we want to go to the lose condition. All right, choose the scene. Make sure we choose the lose scene. Save that. And once again, we need to attach that to our level scene. Save that and test that out. Okay. And we just need to die a couple times here. 
And as you'll notice on lives equals zero, it actually still goes to the replay. And I'm not sure exactly why that is. I think that's probably because of the other scene transition effects. But the uh, quickest way we can change that is going into our lose condition. And we'll just increase that by one. That way, whenever it gets to zero, won't be a big deal. It'll just change that from there. All right, and now we can test that out. Double check, make sure that that works. And if you enjoyed these tutorials, let me know. Uh, like the uh, video, and if there's something you think I need to work on, let me know that too. But subscribe to the channel, and thanks for checking it out. Also, if there's something else you'd like to see me do on a tutorial on, let me know.